Here's thing number one that art has taught me about recovery from narcissistic abuse. I have learned that I don't need therapy for everything, right? We don't need it. That we, we deceive ourselves into thinking there's something magical about the therapy process and we can become dependent on our therapist. Now, don't get me wrong. Therapy is amazing. I'm a licensed art therapist. I, I work with clients. I have been a client in therapy off and on for many years. We need that but it is not the holy grail. It is not the fix all for everything. We need to learn to implement some skills ourselves. That's why it's my mission to teach the art and writing skills that I have learned to implement myself that have changed my life dramatically. I, it's my mission to teach those to other people to equip you with these skills. You can do this on your own. You can access all those limiting beliefs and subconscious emotions below the surface and rein in what feels out of control. Here is thing number two that art has taught me about recovery from narcissistic abuse. This will change your life. So all art media can be categorized on this spectrum from, from fluid to resistive. So more fluid media like paint, watercolor paint especially, then even like a soft chalk pastel where you can smear the chalk dust around to kind of markers and crayons are in the middle. There's oil pastels are a little more fluid, right? All the way to the resistive end like pencils, color pencils, graphite pencils, hammering two pieces of wood together, cutting paper for collage. Those are all more resistive. So this is what's magical. This is magical. Listen up, people. The more fluid art materials are emotive. They help us access our emotions. Literally, our brain gets more into our emotions, into our body. The resistive media, it helps you control things. It helps you control your emotions. Experiment with that. Here's thing number three that art has taught me about recovery from narcissistic abuse. It has taught me to be present in my body. We know that trauma is stored in our body, in our nervous system. So the most effective trauma treatments and even self-help activities are ones that engage our physical bodies. One way to do this is through the art media. I shared in yesterday's video about how fluid media can get us in our feelings and resistive media can help us rein it in and feel more in control. On top of that, try this, draw with both hands. Try writing in response to your artwork. Ask it questions. Write down whatever comes to your mind. Try writing or drawing with your non-dominant hand. All of these activities will engage the right and left side of your brain. They can bring up some uncomfortable emotions, so make sure you have a way to get grounded, but this is a really effective way to use art to heal. Thing number four that art has taught me about recovery from narcissistic abuse. It's taught me to play, to let go, to trust my intuition. Narcissistic abusers have trained us, they've brainwashed us to not trust ourselves, to always defer to them, to please them, to not even consider our own wants and needs. We need to learn to trust ourselves again and we can do that within the safe space of the art making process. We can play, we can let go. I always say within the creative process, there is no impulse control required as long as you're not damaging property or damaging yourself or hurting others. Like you can do what you want within the safe space of, of the piece of paper, of the artwork. You are free to let go, to practice what that feels like in your body, to trust yourself, to trust your decisions. Play with that, see what you can create. It's safe. Trust yourself.